I'm really, very really proud that it's such many people from so many countries in the world always participated at Carmel Conference. It's Carmel time. Correspondence analysis is easy. Data of fitting. Explain variance is high. Your data are rich. And your white plots good looking. So hush, karma colleagues, don't you cry. Thank you. And I uh, will uh, present uh, the development which we hope is new. Uh, and we have named partial least square regression for any correspondence analysis, PSRCA. And I will present an application on uh, uh, data from uh, Alzheimer's uh, uh, great uh, survey about uh, Alzheimer's disease. Then by projecting the original data matrices and the, as supplementary rows and columns in the analysis of the X on Y uh, data table, and it will be uh, easy to have, uh, for instance, uh, by plots, uh, describing the units, the categories, and so on. Unverifiable assumptions and so on. Since we have found that the mean point of the subgroup is far from the center of the cloud, this finding triggers the natural query from a stated, is the observed deviation a genuine one, or might it be due to chance? and durations of swing, cycle, stance, and double stance. And we perform PCA on the six variables from the reference group with patients put as supplementary elements. Well, that's the title of my talk. And I thought I'd have to explain what it means to people who don't speak English every day. More or less taken for granted. The new thing Correctly so, because uh, Huygens back in about 1630 or something pointed out that uh, sums of squares through uh, any point are greater than the sum of squares through um, uh, with their mean. Um, other people said it's not a very, very interesting mathematical result. It's least squares properties of it which are really useful. Mm. And uh, um, which makes, makes uh, data analysis um, uh, available. Of course, everybody remembers um, the Eckert-Young theorem, but it goes back to Schmidt, Schmidt, of Solomon Graham Schmidt.
exchange data in uh, resetting the origin, uh, the marginal distribution therefore, uh, when carrying out the, uh, the correspondence analysis. And the same idea is taken further, or at least is taken uh, uh, also in the direction of multiple factor analysis, where you have that uh, uh, the, the commonality between different um, juxtaposed uh, subtables is established. One of the well-known techniques for analyzing symmetrical relationship between two sets of variables is the so-called canonical anal uh, relation analysis by Odelin in 1936. In order to compute pair of composite variables in CCA, weights for the Y variables and for C, uh, X uh, variables are chosen simultaneously to maximize the Pearson correlation coefficient between the component of X and the component of Y. Of course, uh, some kind of classical uh, 
uh, series because, as you guess, the subject, the, the tense, and even the way of speaking English in the uh, United States of America and uh, uh, the style uh, are changing. Don't have uh, the blocks are very visible for, for the medium level, the block are still visible. For the high level, uh, you do not really distinguish any of the blocks. So these are the three levels as they have been set. Uh, there were some ability tests on a spatial, uh, the, of the type spatial tests that correspond to visually uh, recognize cubes or flex or something like that. Verbal test to, uh, of comprehension of paragraph and sentences and speed test. What you can do is uh, to rotate the solution. I am from the University of Newcastle. There are two Newcastle universities in the world. One's in England. I'm not from that one. Okay. I am actually the one from Australia which is a long, long a lot further away. Um, so basically, I guess, as an Australian, I have a fairly unique perspective on where correspondence analysis comes from. I wasn't formally trained in correspondence analysis. I don't come from the French school of correspondence analysis. I don't come from the Italian school or the Dutch school or the... Is there anything else? While I might be an Australian and I might be a long way from the European influence, I do read a fair bit of correspondence analysis and uh, you know, there was a talk that we had yesterday afternoon, I think I was sharing one of the sessions with a Japanese gentleman, and uh, he rightfully said that Hayashi, Hayashi deserves to be put on the pedestal with Bensakri in terms of its development, so uh, that's up there as well. The journal was specifically aimed at uh, Jean-Paul Bensakri's contributions to correspondence analysis. have a phenomenal amount of citations. Um, especially considering that they're French and especially considering that the English speaking language probably has no idea that they exist and that's a very, again, broad brush view. Of course Michael's book has been the most cited out of everyone's book. Um, the vast book, as I mentioned before, uh, has been highly cited as well. Uh, the Jiffy book has been phenomenally well cited. What do you think? Uh, I think it's okay. When is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in 2019 in Cape Town. 2019 in Cape Town. Yes, will you come? Okay. Well, well, the animals it's a beautiful okay. place. Yeah. Yeah. Brown, we will be there. Can I get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of Mettiamo la parola a un violente
I would say. Yeah. 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 Yeah.